All right, first things first, I'm gonna need y'all to go follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I post in there a pretty decent amount. And second, I'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and subscribe and like for more content on this channel. Now run my intro. All right, so I wanted to talk about this little team that I'm gonna be going when ball comes out because you, you know, we're getting her. I'm like at 71 and we got Primo Gem saved up. I didn't have much time because I went for the last character and, you know, screw me. I got a Chi Chi C2. Uh huh. So, yeah, that's uh, my luck right now. So, at least my next one is guaranteed. That's cool. So, yeah. But, yeah, we're today we're talking about Eula or just the whole team as a whole. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't even used Eula that much. I got her by accident when she came out, and I built her a little bit, but and then, you know, other characters came out that I cared about a lot more, and I wasn't too into a physical DPS. Until now. And I'm not gonna lie, having infinite superconduct sounds pretty crazy for, crazy for Eula, because right now I don't even have her built like that, and she's... She's already pretty, pretty crazy when it comes to DPS. But yeah, obviously I'm gonna be getting ball for that. And second thing, I don't know what it is. I've I've done builds with her where it's like 174% energy recharge. Still feels slow as hell. And that's the thing. That's why I. That's the main reason. Like the superconduct. Oh my god, that's gonna be crazy. But having enough energy recharge from ball to help Eula is going to be amazing. Because that's one of the most annoying things, is because everyone else on my team will have their ult in seconds. Eula's over here, I'm still trying to get these particles, and I'm just like, bro, it's like, I, I, don't, I can't use the ults at the same time, and it's the most annoying thing. But yeah, this is what I got right here. Now, we're gonna look at how she's built. She, don't expect nothing crazy. 80. I, you know, I, I had the courtesy to at least get her to 80. 1500 attack, nothing crazy. Her stats 61, 172. Right now, I'm not running the energy recharge right now because it seems like it's kind of pointless. 114% physical damage bonus, which is absolutely insane. And that's because mainly because of this thing, why it's so much higher than most people usually see is because I'm using the Snow Tomb Star Silver, which I've done a video. I, I think everyone's seen that guide for some reason. That video, as soon as Eula came out, went up from like 10k to 120k, so I, I, I guess I should do more guides, but you know, that's not my uh, type of video that I like to do. But yeah, this thing, crazy. Crazy damage, physical damage. If I wanted to get, be more consistent, f Prototype Archaic would probably be a little bit better, but first of all, this one looks way cooler, and honestly, I have more fun with this one. I just feel like the stats are more fun. Oh yeah, artifacts I'm running is elemental burst damage plus 20% and physical damage. Now, these right here, I got super lucky. I got super lucky with 27% and 11% crit rate. I got super lucky. This one, again, I got pretty lucky on this one. I've got feathers. I don't know what it is. Feathers, I always get the craziest crap. 30%, 6% that one's terrible. 31%, let's see, 10 and 14, that's not bad. 25% and 6%, 26 and 3%, you know, bro, some of these, like, th this right here, like, bro, like, what is happening? I'm finally getting good artifacts, and you're thinking, your AR rank 55, and you don't have any that many artifacts. I don't know what it is, I always tell myself, just keep them, because you're probably gonna want them later. Well, for some reason, I have a habit of deleting every single well not deleting but putting it into other artifacts if it's not absolutely perfect and i think that comes from my habit in destiny 2 where if it wasn't a god rule it's gotta go and i think it's carried into this game i'm trying to get past it look i'm holding on to as many as i can now i'm starting to keep them but it's just so hard to hold on to something that i know i'm most likely not going to use but yeah the, these stats are pretty cool. This one is a. Uh, this was just the only physical damage one that looks okay, so I put it on. This one I'm just running because it, I got crit rate and 27% crit damage, so 
that's the cop and then first i want to look at the i've been farming for ball oh, for artifacts what what is this what what is this luck bro what, what is this this might be the worst thing i've ever seen oh like why and of course i got plenty of these you know and plenty of these are fine oh my bro it's like yo what like what is this geo damage bonus you serious i upgraded this one because it had crit damage crit rate and attack percentage gave me defense got defense up got attack up rolled on crit rate once and this one was already not that good because it's hp percentage which i don't really want but it was like it's got what i want so i gotta at least try but yeah that's my luck right now of course we're running zhongli I, i'm not sure if i'm gonna be running zhongli with ball i'm not gonna lie i don't know because my main team is most likely gonna be eula ball most likely bennett because he always makes it into every team is because I, I don't think anyone is ever gonna be able to replace him and then it's probably to me kazua which is you, you know what that's hella weird. I'm not gonna lie, having Ball and Kazuha on the same team just doesn't feel right, you know, because they're not, you know, exactly friends. Or they more like they probably hate each other's guts. And I know Kazuha hates her. Ball probably is just like, uh, screw this dude. Because, you know, I wouldn't really want to be on the team with the person that killed my friend. So, yeah. That's a, uh, that's different. So, <laughs> so I'm <laughs> prob that's probably to be the team though. So Zhongli is most likely not gonna be on there, which is why he's not really built right now. I'm just able to do damage with him and do pretty good because he's using some stacked stuff right now, which reminds me of the weapon. This weapon is gonna be crazy on ball because energy recharge, ooh, grit rate, attack speed. This is gonna be nice. This is definitely the spear I'm gonna be using on Ball 100%. Kazuha, I can build better, which I need to get this up to 90. This weapon is crazy for support. Um, her his stats right now is 61% animal damage, which isn't, isn't bad. Energy recharge is terrible because I'm just I was messing around with builds, so he doesn't even have what I have the best of. But 56% and 154, it's not terrible. It does what I want it to do. And then of course Bennett. Oh, right now he has. What does he have? Okay, I was about to say I know it's not that bad. Y yes, I I was building main character. Sue me, I, I I I had to. Look, like hey, I was about to defend myself, but and then I realized I wasn't even using the uh, electro one. I okay. Let, let's forget that you ever saw that. But yeah, now, hold on. Okay. This is not the build that I usually use on him, but I have no idea what I usually have on. But yeah, we're gonna look at talents. Of course, we have to get his up a little bit. Five, seven, six, not done doing him. One, six, six, and then six, one, eight. This one, I, I kinda wanna upgrade this one because I just now realized how much damage it actually does. But yeah, let's try this out a little bit. I wanna do a little bit of tests. Because I don't know if it's just me or Eula is just crazy, crazy good. We're gonna go over here real quick. God, of course, it's abyss mate. And if I mess this up, it's because I'm new to mouse and keyboard. It, I'm just you know, casual damage, no boost. You know, Ozawa is of course absolutely insane. Like, just absolutely decimates everything. Just with Kazuha, goes up to like 8k, 7k. You know, pull out, you know, Bennett. And then go back. 9k. Okay, he's dead before I can really test out much. And then, you know... If we do, if we use all of this in a row, you know... What, what's a good place to try this out? Let's go into, um... You know, I haven't finished Spiral Abyss. Where's Spiral Abyss at? We're, we're gonna go into here real quick to try this out. Because I, I don't really wanna have to go and find groups of enemies. 
I just gotta think, what's a good spot? I think we're just gonna do nine, to be honest. Why is it acting like I haven't been in here before? What? Okay. No idea why I did that. I remember what's in it. Okay. So we're not even gonna do the second team. We're just gonna go ahead and pick whatever we were using out there. This, this, this. Okay, we have to get a second team for now. This is gonna be our second team because we're not gonna use it. But yeah. Now, if we use all of them in a row, I kind of want, I want to show without these boosts, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the one that nobody really wants. But we're going to go ahead and do, you know, gather up, you know, we got to get his shield going, get his Q, just start going crazy. That, that's pretty crazy. I'm not gonna lie, her ult be hitting for like 145,000 out of nowhere. I don't even really build her like that. I don't use Superconduct right now because I just feel like it's not needed. You know? It's, it's just... I, I just feel like I don't need it. It's not needed. Same thing with Zone Lee. I just feel like no matter how you build him, he's just absolutely insane. Like, it doesn't really matter what you do. And her, I don't know, sometimes I catch myself Eula, I honestly, sometimes I don't even bother, like, using any other character, I just use her and just smack things around, because it's just not needed. But, yeah, yeah I, I think you I think you get the, the picture. She's absolutely insane. When I have everything going at once, I, I've seen her hit 16k, 17k, sometimes even 18k. That, that's pretty crazy for a team that I haven't built. Now, if I go over here, you know, we set up. Let's see. Go ahead and take off. Don't leave. We just put on official for now. Because I just want to try this out. Go somewhere with some enemies. Let's see. No idea where there's some enemies, but we're about to find some. Because this... I'm on, I'm, I don't even use Superconduct. Because I, I feel like it's not worth it. There should be some enemies down here. Okay, yeah. But the main thing, I wanted to main DPS as Kazuha, but if you don't have him at C6, it's it's definitely doable. It's 100% doable. But it's also not exactly the ideal enemy. I never should have done that. All right, let's use this. This. Okay. More speed. She kills everything too fast. That that that's basically what I'm trying to show you. But yeah, she kills everything way too fast. But yeah, this is gonna be a crazy team. I can't wait to get Ball. Ball, Kazuha, Bennett, and Eula is about to be a crazy team. And I'm not gonna lie. I there was a point where I was like, I'm kind of getting bored of Genshin. And then Inazuma came out. That kept me super busy for a minute. And then now, I think this is a... Uh, this is the only game I could really make content on without it really feeling like something I have to do. Because every other... Like, when I was posting Destiny stuff, I actually forced myself to do that. I'm not gonna lie. And that's why I quit. And I still play, like, from time to time by myself. But it's just... I don't know something about Genshin, bro. Something about Genshin is just absolutely crazy to me. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's the scenery. M maybe it is because it, it does look absolutely insane. Especially when I'm new to PC, I just switch from console. It it looks pretty nice, 100%. And I think this game is always gonna have something that most games will never have. That for some reason this game drew me in. Because this is my first gacha game. So, for this to draw me in, I'm not gonna lie, this is, this game is crazy. I really love how this game came out. I love that they keep up with updates so well. And maybe for some people, that's it's not really a, as good as they think it is. But 
for me coming from destiny 2 the way bungie used to uh keep up with the you know yearly updates th this mihoyo is doing god's work to, in my terms because it's crazy how many how much content they come out with and how much they're about to come out with i was just like okay inazuma came out we're probably gonna have a good you know let's say have you know good month month two months three months probably won't have anything added because this is so big 2.1 comes trailer and like yo like what's going on here but yeah let me know in the comments what you think let me know if you're getting bought and I, i'm not gonna lie that question is kind of stupid because everyone's getting ball like mahoyo is about to be balling after this banner comes out because two characters on the same banner that people absolutely want more than anything but yeah let me know in the comments what you think about this team i think this team is pretty cool other than kazua and ball not having the best synergy <laughs> i think i still think it's crazy that they have that you can have these two on the same team but yeah 100 let me know in the comments what you think hope you enjoyed the video peace